Linux Kernel 6.16 Release Candidate 1 is now available. What's new? Hello everyone! Today, we're diving into the latest development milestone in the Linux kernel world. Linus Torvalds has officially announced the first release candidate for the upcoming Linux 6.16 kernel series. This marks the end of the merge window, which means no new major features will be added, and the focus now shifts to testing and stabilizing what's already merged. Timeline and release schedule. Linux kernel 6.15 was released just two weeks ago, and since then, Developers have been busy finalizing features for 6.16. The release candidate versions will be published every Sunday over the next two months. Depending on how many RCs are needed, the final stable release of Linux 6.16 is expected around late July or early August 2025, likely July 27th if there are seven RCs or August 3rd if eight are required. Key highlights of Linux 6.16. This release brings a wealth of improvements and new features, including a new system service designed to run CPU power, helping users manage CPU performance more efficiently, significant updates to the BCA Chef's file system, enhancing its performance and reliability, support for Intel Auto Counter Reload, ACR, and Intel APX, which improve hardware capabilities and power management, a new HD audio control interface bound via ACPI specifically for NVIDIA hardware. Expanded support for NVIDIA Hopper and Blackwell GPUs through the open source Nuvo driver, improving compatibility for these latest graphics cards. Minus hardware wrapped keys support an F script, enhancing file system encryption security. Intel Quick Assist Technology, QAT. Hardware accelerator support in the ERMOFS file system, boosting DEFLATE decompression performance. Support for AMD ACP 7.x audio processors and a wider range of Intel audio video speech, AVS platforms. Tegra 264 support added to the ADMA driver, expanding hardware compatibility. The EXT4 file system gains large folio support for regular files and multi-Fs block atomic write support for big alloc file systems, which can improve performance and data integrity. Numerous driver updates, especially for GPU and networking hardware, ensuring better support for current and emerging devices. Core kernel improvements in file systems, memory management, and networking, which contribute to overall system stability and performance. Technical insights. About half of the changes in this RC are driver updates, with GPU and networking drivers making up a large portion. The rest are split evenly between architecture-specific enhancements, documentation, and tooling improvements, including the perf tool and self-tests, and core kernel changes. One notable architectural update is the introduction of the new x86 underscore native CPU configuration option. This option allows Linux kernels to be built optimized specifically for the host CPU, leveraging the latest instruction sets and microarchitectural features. While this means dropping support for older legacy x86 processors, it enables significant performance gains on modern Intel and AMD CPUs, benefiting workloads from cloud computing to machine learning. How to get it? If you want to test Linux kernel 6.16 RC1, it is available for download from Linus Torvalds Gitree and kernel.org. However, keep in mind this is a pre-release version intended for testing and development purposes only. It's not recommended for production systems. Looking ahead, as the Linux 6.16 kernel series moves towards its final release, users and developers can look forward to a more efficient, secure, and hardware-friendly Linux experience. With ongoing improvements in file systems, hardware support, and core kernel subsystems, Linux continues to evolve as a versatile and powerful platform for a wide range of devices. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video! Peace out, everybody, and don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.